One, two, three. Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc, and we are here in Alpha 0.25. The latest update just came out June 15th, 2022. We're here at the main menu, and the very first thing that immediately grabs your attention is probably this mods icon right here. So let's just take a look. This, I think, is absolutely fantastic that the devs are putting this in, letting you know that the game has been updated it, and all install mods have been temporarily deactivated. They may stop functioning correctly as a result of major game updates, etc., etc. This is letting you know, look, we updated the games. Mods may not work. I've been preaching that for years and... I don't know. You still see so many people who complain about mods not working after an update. Yeah, it's not. It, it's just the way it is. The game has major changes to it and things are not going to work until the authors fix those mods. So you can either accept the risk and reactivate your mods or you can leave them disabled for now and don't worry about mods. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and actually leave them disabled just because... I'm here to look at what's new, not necessarily what mods work or don't work, right? Okay, so one of the other things that you probably are, no are noticing on the main menu screen here, the garage is back. That's right. So we're going to fire this up. We're going to jump over here into the garage. Take a look at this bad boy. I don't know how long it's going to take to jump in here. This is actually the first time I've even loaded the game since the update. And so here we are, we are in the garage. We can save, you can test, we can tune parts, paint. You can even have a collection of cars. I think this is definitely getting ready for whatever the uh, career mode is going to be for sure. Now, I do know that part of the main reason why you're here is because you want to see the brand new scintilla and here it is and i'm jumping into the off-road version because my guess is you've probably actually already seen other videos by now if not thank you so much for making this the first one uh, but this is the brand new supercar available in the game and the teaser that came out yesterday before the mod came out I, i'm saying yesterday by the time this releases, the mod will, have, I mean, the update will have been out for at least a whole day. But anyway, the teaser that the devs put out just before they released was this bad boy right here. Man, this is, oh my gosh, this is great. Holy cow. Look at this thing. I absolutely love it. Now, can I? No. Oh, I, okay. I can steer. I am curious, can I start the car here? Yeah, oh, I can't. No? Well, it's running. It just, I can't. Oh, wait. Okay, you can't, you can't drive. You can't drive in garage mode. So that's, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> that would be kind of fun if you could actually drive in garage mode. But, oh. You can at least hear the roar. I, I love this. I think this is such a fantastic... We're going to be playing around with this for a long, long time. Now, the other thing you can do is you can also change paint here. But can you... There's, oh, let's see what garage features are. Oh, okay. So we got different lights. Ooh, look at there. Oh, I see. This is what you turn. This is whether you're turning them on or not. Okay, okay. That's cool. Electrics. It's electric. Oh, okay. So you can turn on your lights if you want. Very nice. You can also set camera. Oh, okay. Parts. So what can we do with part? Oh, paint design. The BeamNG anniversary paint job. This is awesome if you're not aware this is the 10th anniversary of beam ng and look at here they had the different folks involved with the project sign their name 
or their handle or whatever you want to call it onto the various mesh uh, overlays that is so cool and we've got a very special message here let me see i don't know if i can do this yeah we can here we go look at there thank you to all content creators contributors modders fans friends of beam ng and so many of you your continued support is highly appreciated from beam ng loves our community that is so cool there's high def right there look at that oh that is fantastic Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Now there's a lot, <laughs> no texture, that is great. <laughs> uh, now there are a lot of folks that honestly, I just, I don't know the name. I don't know the name of you know most of the devs, as is the case with most games. Um, but oh, look at there, look at that, that's cool. Dank physics. <laughs> oh. Now also, uh, this model is uh, b because of the way this model is this particular vehicle is you don't actually get to see all the names here whoops so let me jump in here real quick <clears throat> grab a scintilla uh, i think if we just grab any of the ones that have a full body kit and then i will come in here and let's do parts and we will do the anniversary look at there Oh, yeah. That way you can see all of the stuff. There's T-Dev, uh, who, uh, he, he, last week, T-Dev is the one who put out the information that the mod, that the release was coming, the update was coming this week. Look at that logo. That is awesome right there, man. The Dark Owl logo. Very cool. Uh, so... Uh, and I'm sure it's in here. I mean, it's got to be. All right, where's where's Nadiox? Look at this. I love this. Look at there. Spoiler alert. Check that out. <laughs> it's great. Uh, you guys are awesome, man. That is so cool. You may be seeing. You may be seeing Nadiox. I I don't see Nadiox. But uh, again. Oh, man, yeah, AI Torer. Holy cow, I've played many of his mods on BeamNG. Car Killer. Oh, man, that that is so, so cool. So many of them, and, and I apologize if your name's on here and I'm not calling you out specifically. It's just kind of what's catching my attention at the time. Again, though, of course, we're looking at the Scintilla. Uh, now, I am curious. One thing I've not seen in anybody's... Uh, video are the COVID updates and I don't see any you know we were kind of teased earlier that we'd be getting an update to the COVID and I just I'm not seeing I, I don't know I'm not, I'm not seeing uh, an updated COVID now I mean it's it's possible that uh under parts maybe there's nope huh do we have, let's see, we have anything, well, let's see, it wouldn't, it would be like the left quarter panel, really, is what it would be, side skirts, yeah, I don't really see anything, yeah, so I don't know if that's just something that they were teasing and it just didn't come to pass or, or, or what, but it does not look like we are getting a, a new COVID Anyway, look at the, oh, I know you just you, your your eyes immediately drawn over to the scintilla. Uh, oh, I tell you, one of the other things that I did want to show though, and I'm I'm actually gonna um, I'm gonna see if it's available in my uh, bastion. Oh no, I don't want burn orange. Let's do that. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so check this out. Um, Okay, this one probably doesn't have the, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like this one's got the digital dash, which is kind of weird to me because, like, the charger has a digital dash, and that's kind of what this is modeled after. So, okay, so, whoops, sorry. So, let's go ahead, fine, let's just go back here, fine, we'll do it, it's it's fine. Uh, and I think it's available, like I said, I think it's available just in, in, certain vehicles 
<laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Holy cow. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right. But where I, what I'm trying to show is the fact that you now have the ability to change your instrument panel. There are six locations that you can go into the parts and we can go into, uh, I guess it's under dashboard screen. Oh yeah. Look at there. So we have bottom center, bottom left, bottom right, the top bar, which is this up here, and then top center, top left, top right. You can actually pick the values that you want up here, or you could probably do, oh, well, no, you can't even make it empty. So you have to pick one of these. So let's just, let's just go up here. So the bottom center says wheel speed. That's essentially how fast you're going. But look at this. You can do water temperature, your torque, the time, uh, your remaining uh, range for fuel, your power, oil temperature, low fuel light uh, warning, lights. Oh, my gosh. Whether the engine is running? <laughs> A check engine light. That's hilarious. Oh, average fuel consumption. Oh, man. That is so, so cool. So, okay, so I'm curious, what is the bottom, okay, bottom right is driver input. And right now, the top left is tire data. I'm just, I'm just trying to get a feel for, you know, kind of what I would want. So, honestly, I would rather have my speed be in the top center. So, can I do my current is, oh i could do air speed which is uh the speed that you would normally use for oh hi there you are okay <laughs> yikes um so air speed versus the actual wheel speed um air speed is tends to be a little more accurate in terms of how fast you're going um versus how fast the vehicle is going versus how fast the wheels are turning that's a little weird, but you get used to it. Uh, the bottom center, so that is the bottom center's wheel speed. And for me, I would rather have that be the gear. So current gear, because that is how I roll. Yeah, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so bottom left environment temperature. Um, now let's do fuel. Is that, is that what I want, fuel? Okay, so we got 80. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll, we'll just leave it anyway. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, top left. I don't really care about... Oh, okay. So I can either do tire data or I can do three values up here. Let's just for the sake of argument. Let's pick three values for top left. Um, and then, of course, we pick what those three values are. Oh, this is so, so cool. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to do average fuel consumption. Okay, here's what we got to do. Um, can I not? All right, fine. Okay, I'm going to have to back up. Well, I don't know. It always resets the camera, so uh, let's see. Acceleration, airspeed, boost, check engine. You know what? I will do check engine, but I'll do it at the bottom. Um, should we do? Let's do lights. What does that do? Whether your lights are off or on. Okay, so obviously some of these are, you know, your mileage may vary. We're definitely going to do check engine. Because <laughs> why not? Oh, look at there. Oh, my gosh. And then we have our fuel, which actually I have already over on the other side. Anyway, I'm getting caught up in the minutia. <laughs> You're like, you guys are like, I don't care. Okay, so anyway, uh, if we go back. So how do I, so can I exit? All right, so we can save this. And I'm just going to call this Bastion 615. Okay. Go. All right. And uh, we're, we're just going to exit out of this. Let, let's go back to the main menu. Uh, no. Just trying to go. Oh, oh, this is the main menu. Okay, okay. I, I see where I am now. This does bring up the main menu. All right, let's just, for the sake of argument, where should I, where should, where should we go? Let's go to, uh, 
Let's go to Utah. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> I, I just realized that I called that vehicle Bastion, and it wasn't a Bastion. It was a, uh, it was the Scintilla. Uh, I can't remember which version it was now. That's hilarious. I totally picked the wrong car. That's okay. Oh, there's the Bastion 615 that isn't a Bastion. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm an idiot. Oh, look at there. All right. But for what it's worth, it does have our custom stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay. Oh, and look at there, the skid plate peels away. And it's, that's, that's not a good thing to happen in your supercar. So one of the other options, or one of the other things that the devs have done is they've changed the way that keyboard players can work with the steering in the game. So here's what, I, right now, this is just the default regular steering in the game. So you can see that, I mean, it's, Steering really lets go. All right. So supposedly, ah, all right. So supposedly, I can go in here, and I guess that's under an option, and I'm gonna have to find. I'm gonna have to find where that is because I do not know. Assuming it's a gameplay thing. Here we go. Oh, oh. Actually, no. The oversteer was already turned on. Okay, so let's turn off. Let's turn off the oversteering assistant. Okay, so this is without the oversteering assistant. Let's see what happens. We're gonna drive down here. Oh, holy cow! Yeah, I mean, I barely tapped the steering, and we <laughs> completely went out of control. That is a huge difference. So now, if I go back in here. And I go to the gameplay, and we enable the steering oversteer reduction assistant, and also reduce steering at high speed. Now we can play with this. Uh, oh, what I'm trying to say. You, you can you can change this as you want to. So you can play around with what this looks like until you get to the point of uh, you know where, where that makes you comfortable. Now, I'll be honest, I have no earthly idea. I just went in and changed a bunch of stuff, because why not? So now let's compare what we just did with the settings that I've enabled this time. All right, well, we still managed to get out of control. So obviously, this is something I'm going to have to play around with. I'm going to have to figure out exactly uh, what this looks like and how this comes into play when playing the game as far as uh, using a keyboard for steering so we'll, we'll figure that out in the meantime some of the other things that we can do are ai traffic and we can spawn in traffic with police and they've updated the ai so that supposedly ai can uh, not only act pretty much however they want to but if you have a perpetrator, then supposedly the police can actually pull over AI vehicles. So we'll, we'll see what that looks like. So we are different. Whoa. 
Oh. Okay, I, I, I shouldn't have done that. I'm actually surprised the <laughs> I'm surprised the AI police car didn't get me there. We're gonna reset because why not? Okay, the AI is currently actually not even moving. What in the world happened there? That was weird. So how come Are they stopped because of me? Is that broken AI? That could be broken AI. Because it's weird to me that they're... Okay, wait. Are you guys moving? I mean, the police are moving. I get that. Oh, look at you. Just taking out that car. Wait. Were they moving? Okay, so some of the cars are moving. Oh, this is a very weird thing. So yeah, I hope you didn't wreck into that dude. Oh, he, he despawned. Did you see that? Right when we were getting there. So, of course, what we want to do is jump in here. And we want the off-road. Because this is what we came for. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. He says as he high centers... On a rock. <laughs> this, is, this is so typical me. There we go. Just so typically me. Come on. Yeah, our, our car's busted. Here we go. There it is. Yeah, doing a little off-road action here. This is probably not going to end well. Just going to throw that out there. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Oh, there's another thing. Somewhere. I don't know how this works. Oh, this one probably doesn't have doors. Of course, if you've seen in my other preview, sneak, sneak preview videos, uh, the uh, doors on the supercar will wing open. <clears throat> well, we got wheels going through the body. That's probably not good. When the body hit the floor, when the body hit the floor. Okay. Let's just let's just do this. Got me an I another idea. Okay, let's do the Dark Owl movie car. I.e. Batman. Ooh. I'm Batman. Hey, listen, don't be crashing into the movie car, man. What's the matter with you? All right, so anyway, here we go. We can open the doors. Whoosh. Yeah, look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to take your hubcap with me. Oh, now the door is broken. There we go. Okay, now, I did see... Oops, I am not paying attention. Wow, that's cool, though. <laughs> Got ourselves a wedge car. Out of the way. Supposedly, if we... Oh. oh yeah, that's fine. All right, supposedly, if we end up upside down... Oh, I'm out of control. Oh, my gosh, this is not happy. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, if we end up upside down, supposedly the doors pop open themselves. We're gonna we're gonna put that to the test here. Maybe. Listen, I am trying to do some scientific research. Come on. Well, it doesn't help. Oh, actually, you know what? We're good. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to end up upside down, man. Just get me upside down. If I wasn't trying to get upside down, I would be so upside down. Okay. 
Come on. Upside down. Upside down. Seriously? <laughs> Here. Can I do it manually? Okay, we're upside down. The door is not popping open. No, I don't, I don't think that's a real thing. I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't, I don't think flipping upside down and the door opening by itself is a real thing. Listen, I'm trying to do some experimentation here. Where are you taking me? Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. Yeah, the, do the doors don't open uh, in that situation. I'm just, I'm just going to throw that out there. So, I don't know. Either, either that or I'm doing something very, very wrong. Okay, so uh, let's just... Whew. All right, let's just go in here real quick into the gameplay options again. Um, and, uh, I gotta find the setting for the, um, well, I don't know where that is. I'm, uh, let's see, I'm looking for the settings that allow me to show the uh, overhead. I mean, here's the map, so I'm looking for the missions. Okay, there's the missions, but I, they're not showing up. But anyway, okay, so we have different missions here. Uh, we've got uh, airfield, auto repair zone. We've got AI racing. Look at this. This is cool. So let's just try some AI highway battle. All right, works for me. Uh, quick travel. Oh, I can't quick travel yet? You need to complete it at least once to quick travel. Okay. Fine. Let's set the route to it. So we're here. And what? Wait a minute. What? Okay. Set the route. Why are you wanting me to... I don't know what's happening exactly. We'll find out when we get there. Cars messed up. Okay, there's the that's what we're trying to get to way down there.
Okay, it took me a hot minute to find it, but under user interface, show in-game mission markers, and that is what we're looking for so that we can join in a mission. There we go. Escape to view the details, the highway battle. Should we use the proposed car? No, we can pick our own. Difficulty, uh, vehicle use, provided vehicle, except I'm going to say no because I'm curious to see what happens here. How do you pick your own vehicle? I mean, I, I said no, so... Yeah, I hear you honking at me. That's fine. Okay, so it looks to me like it's using the proposed... Oh, no, I am using my own vehicle. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this. All right, so this is a straight-up run. Oh, heck yeah, look at this. We can definitely take these dudes in our supercar once we can get around them. Maybe. Come on. Oops. Ouch. Okay, we did... Oh, that's a lot of damage to our car. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Oh, we are now in last place. Oh, we have crunched our car. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not doing that. <laughs> this is... That's not working. Uh, no, I don't, I don't have ESC. Okay, that's fine. I do like the fact that it does have our current position listed. We're in third, we're in second. I'm just flooring it. I'm not even. We're not even pretending. Oh no! No! Oh. As we go skidding through the checkpoint, things not looking good for David and Hark. We have killed the car. Uh. Okay, so there's not really a way that I can see that you can go back to reset other than, oh, okay, here it is there. So use proposed car, yes, abandon. Let's try this again. Okay, this time we're in a sunburst because that's what they recommend for Dave. Pretty sure that's how this works. Yeah, how on earth we're going to beat a bastion? I have no idea. Not to mention a bolide up ahead of us. There's no way this car is going to be able to... Yeah, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to have to cut corners and find some shortcuts or something. Oh, I love the fact that we now have racing in the game. Sorry, buddy. Oh, oh, they took each other out. Ow. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is ridiculous. That dude is way gone. There is no way we're catching first place after that fiasco. We will just have to see what this looks like. That dude is way up ahead, I'm sure. I don't think we're going to see him. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay on the road. Oh, oh. Man, we are not doing well. Yeah. We're, we're in a lot of trouble. Are you guys coming? No, nah, we failed. Took too much damage to complete the race. <laughs> Let's go. Uh.
Oh, I missed the checkpoint. <sighs> All right, fine. God damn it. All right, they have also these cannon missions where you have to destroy stuff with a cannon. I have no idea how this works. We have to get 300,000 damage. Okay, you're going to see a black truck pulling a trailer. Deal as much damage as possible to it or to the cars that it's delivering. If you can stop it before it reaches the tunnel, that would be perfect. Your targets will be moving. Cannons placement don't make things easy. Advise you to shoot the front wheels of the truck. <laughs> um, I don't know what those keys are. <laughs> Use these keys to change the elevation and fire. Uh, I don't know. It's not telling me which... We won. I, d I didn't do anything. Wait, what? Uh, obviously, this is broken. I... <laughs> <laughs> um, devs, that this is a problem. I don't, I don't, I don't know what, what, okay. So do I have to have the cannon first? I'm so confused. All right. Nope. Okay, that's broken. That's not going to work. Oh my. And we... Okay. Uh, we broke the game. Um, devs? That's a bit of a problem. I don't even know what's happening right now. Holy cow, what? Okay, the game has gone... <laughs> uh, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> the, the game is broken. We broke the game. Okay. <laughs>